Welcome back. This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today we're going for a test drive in a 1970s C10 pickup truck. This one here's got a 350 under the hood. No power steering. Pretty smooth running motor. We're letting it warm up right now. That way we have a uh, decent ride down the road. Check us out at maplemotors.com. Close to 100 detailed pictures, wheels, tires, parts, accessories are available. We do have financing and shipping. It's all located right there at maplemotors.com. And of course, we do videos like this all the time, so go ahead, hit that subscribe button, join the channel. And I'll tell you what, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, go look around the interior, check everything out here. Do got an aftermarket set of gauges below the dash. The dash pad itself has been replaced and is nice and clean. And of course, checking out the bench seat, it's in good shape. Everything's nice and clean in here. Let's go ahead and start it up. Starts up nice and easy. Go ahead and place your bets. Do you think the horn works? We're gonna be trying the wipers out, see if they work. They do. Nice. They're pretty slow though, aren't they? The motor may be getting weak. Looks like your battery gauge is not working on this one. Oil pressure's at 40 or close to it. Um, engine temperature's at 190. Let's go over here. Show you the mileage that's on it, but if this is a 70 model and I cannot prove that. The original oil pressure gauge is gone, basically. It fell down back through the dash. Uh, gas gauge probably does work. Let's go ahead and try this horn. You ready? No horn on this, baby. Take off down the road, see how she runs and drives. All right, getting ready to take off down the road. Anything that I see that needs to be pointed out, I will. That's why I do these videos. Uh, no power steering on this truck here. All right, heading down the road now. Truck does have quite a bit of slack in the steering that is going to have to be addressed. Uh, for the most part, we're going straight as an arrow down the road. The speedometer is coming up on the dash. Seems to be pretty accurate. Engine tips up. Let's check the kick down. Kick down is not hooked up on this one, but it is pulling pretty strong. Got a decent 350 under the hood. Let's hit the brakes. Whoa, the brakes are touching. They're stopping fast, dude. Get way up ahead of this guy behind us. Yeah, brakes are good on this one. You just barely have to push down on them and they start grabbing. Nice and firm. I can hear the turn signals, but I can't see them on the dash. Uh, the lights are not lighting up in the dash panel there, but I can hear them clicking. So, gives me an indication that they are working. Of course, we do have a spreadsheet upon request that goes over every light, all the horns, wipers, all that good stuff. We mark it down on the sheet and tell you what works and what doesn't work. make it over here to this parking lot go ahead and grab our videos I guess I'm not gonna be doing it there today somebody took up the whole parking lot with a truck so I'm gonna try to figure out another spot to make these videos happen kind of quit doing it over here at the church because they're doing so much construction and they were like drilling into the ground and jackhammering and everything. It was so loud in the background. I wasn't able to make any of the videos over here. I may need to go to the other side of town to get this one. Hopefully they're not doing that over here today. 
it's pretty messed up, but I don't see anybody working. Well, I kind of do. <laughs> There's a guy driving a four-wheeler down the road. I'll tell you what, let's go over to the old school parking lot. What I was using all summer. We'll hit it up today. Engine temperature is still at 190 and oil pressure is 35, 40, right in the middle there. I'm going to pull up in here. We're going to do a walk around on the outside of this truck, point out any kind of chips, scratches, give you some undercarriage shots, and continue this test drive. Go ahead and check below. You can see all the gear that I use to make these videos. That's 20 videos. All right, guys. I appreciate you watching. Thanks for sharing my videos. Helps us out quite a bit. We update every Monday with new cars. First of the year is going to be a huge update. So the first Monday would be the 4th. January 4th, there's going to be a lot of new inventory. And that'll be the next walk around that I do. For now, I'm going back on a test drive. So go ahead and hit that up. Last 30 seconds of this video, you'll be able to find that. And of course, like I said at the beginning, Maple Motors has financing and shipping available at maplemotors.com. I want to thank y'all. Later, guys. Okay, put my seat belt back on. I head on back to the lot. How's that look? Look pretty good. What do y'all like this park a lot better or the one way over there? I can't decide. All right. So far, so good. Engine temperature is right at 200. Uh, of course, we've been sitting in the parking lot doing a bunch of circling around, getting on it a little bit. And I did a full walk around video on the truck. Uh, so I would assume it's probably about 20 minutes sitting here idling. But our oil pressure is still at around 35, 40. Got a good running truck here. seen the underneath didn't have any kind of undercoating or anything on it uh, it had signs of surface rust I didn't see any holes in the frame I checked a lot of that in the walk around video I did see it over here in the floor pan it had a little bit of a hole so it may need a pan over there at one time right now seems pretty solid so but just check that video out I'll point some of that stuff out to you and of course we have them detailed pictures on our website I'm going to let this guy run way up ahead of us. There's nobody behind us right now. The brakes are a little squeaky too, you hear them? Very responsive. Plenty of pulling power.
road that's got the speed bump in it. It's up here on the right. I was really hoping he wouldn't pull this way. I'm not 100% sure why everybody uses this road nowadays. And I'm just gonna go straight. Sorry about the speed bump, guys. He's gonna be going real slow down that road. end up with an extra mile out of this going the longer route either way you gotta wait on the lights <laughs> riding down the road my leg kicked it and opened it up something to be careful with maybe keep it locked and we're coming up on the lot right now up here on the right I got, I'm gonna try to get at least one more car done today Good deal, guys. I appreciate y'all watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have any other questions, jump on maplemotors.com. I have close to 100 detailed pictures of this ride, financing and shipping options available. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I post cars for sale pretty much daily. And they're all classic American muscle cars. If I post anything new, it's probably a personal ride. I want to thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for sharing my videos all year. And I hope y'all have a good day. The walk around video will be located the last 30 seconds of this video. All right, I'm going to grab another car. See y'all in a little bit.